What's up, y'all? Welcome back to These Talks Are Taboo. I'm Lowkey Lees. And, of course, we have some special guests in the building, along with Justin. The one and only. <laughs> Say it right. <laughs> I'm Joe. Personality. Earthquake Joe. All right, so, whatever. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about this episode because I get a chance to grill the guys. Good luck. As you can... No stone will be left unturned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into our first topic, y'all. I want to know what is the most toxic thing you've ever done or experienced? What about witnessed? Is that an no. experience? No. It has to be either to you or done by you. Oh, okay. All right, I got something. I ain't saying if it was done to me or by me, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like... So, you know, it's like a, a period in time where you might break up with a person, but you know it's not really over. Mm -hmm. It's just like the drastic measures you may go to try to figure out what that other person may be doing mm -hmm. while away from you. You know, like maybe hack their um, iCloud or something. And you feel me? You hack somebody's iCloud? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I wasn't going to say if it was done to me or oh, my by fault, me. My fault. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> But you feel me? Just, you know, Birdman once said, keep big head Benji's all through her shit. Well, this this fine person might have thought, keep big head business all through her shit. And, I mean, they shit. And <laughs> so, yeah, you know, hacking the iCloud. That's probably the craziest and thing. And what so, did you do with yeah, the information? Yeah, hold on. I got questions. I got questions. <laughs> so, what, what led up to this? What, how, did, how did we get to that point? Like, what, did, what, steps, did, what steps did you skip? Uh, I don't think I could top that. Probably the logical was. <laughs> so how old were you? At the, I mean, don't give up too much. How, how old was the person who hacked whoever's? Uh, I was grown class? as fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think a child gives a fuck. You know this much. To so did you break up with? Did you break up with her? Or she you? broke up with you. I, once again, I mean, I, who got broke up with? Who got broke up? Like yeah. was it? Uh, a, a it might have been a mutual, a mutual departure. But so it, so what what did this person uh hack the iCloud to in hopes to find just what they were up to? Just you know who they was just, texting and shit. Whatever the fuck they did they find, find something? Probably more than they wanted to see. Mm. But I mean, you know, so did that person that. learn his, his <laughs> lesson? <laughs> that person has no regrets. I feel you. I feel you. Let me think. Lisa, you got do something that's that's got done to you because I'm I gotta think. That's gotten done to me. Um, okay. Uh, you giving her the easy way out. No, I can say both, really. Yeah, yeah, do both. Something that I've done, well, I will just say in general, it is very easy to hack into a male's social media because y'all passwords <laughs> are very simple. So I have hacked into Gmail's Instagram. Twitter multiple times um, in in the past. It's mm. it's behind me. Yeah. But it's it's alarming how easy it actually you <laughs> <laughs> so you males need to take a cybersecurity course because I it's lie, I learned my lesson alarming young, no. how quick it is. I mean how easy it yeah, is. I learned my, my lesson young with that. I mean I don't know if I necessarily learned my I, lesson. I, I, you know Joe, I love you, but I got so many questions for Lisa, bro, before we <laughs> before we move on. So wait, wait, wait. Did did you do this to multiple people? I've I've done it and people have asked me to do it for them. Really, like friends? Mm -hmm. Oh, we just stumbled on the topic. No, we gonna get back like, to my this topic. This is like Harriet the Spy right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. we gonna get to the bottom of this. So wait, 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 wait. Like, what are you a PI? Yeah, Clarissa knows I, it all. <laughs> I, you know, I. No, no, no. So you have friends that I, have asked you to hack their boyfriends or whoever's mm -hmm. social media, and yes. you have succeeded. Yes. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Not that I've asked her, but I've been in the vicinity of succession. Really? I don't even know if it, 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 did I use that word right? No, yeah. not in the right context, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you've been we know what you mean. We <laughs> so wait, 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 I wait. Too, I teach math. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. He's a teacher. Right? <laughs> yeah, we got two teachers here. So wait, 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 wait. And then what? Like what? What? What's going? I need more. I need more. Honestly, because this is okay, intriguing. Okay, so to me. we have we. When I say I've been, I've when I've been. So asked, you guys are like a team. 
Like no, a, no, no. Like said, when, we. when I've been asked, I will, or even when I've done it for myself, we get in there, we change the passwords, we get everything that we need, mm. screenshot it all, and then by that time we've done that, they've already figured it out, but they don't know. They're like, oh, somebody trying to break into my shit, I don't know. Like, for example, <laughs> no. Yeah, but, don't give examples. Not example, <laughs> but they think it's somebody in Afghanistan or something, and it's us. And then yeah, but they also still don't they still don't change their email password. So it's like whenever I'm suspecting that you're doing something, I'm gonna do this same process again because I'm still logged into your email. Allegedly. So wait, hey, what, but why are you going into the email though? The email is everything is associated with the email. Oh, so now when you reset the password, you're getting the bro, that is sick. <laughs> Nah, no, 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 no. Before we move on, that's not okay. No, no, no. no. This I, is a this no, but this is past. a common practice thing for women, bro. This isn't like that's a why I said thing. males really need to. You guys need to take a cybersecurity like, course a because thing, bro. this is like a common practice for women. See, I don't think I've ever had somebody. I wonder if I ever got got. I was about to say you. You just probably, probably gotten got, but I don't, I don't think I've ever had like people with somebody like a notification that said, "Oh, somebody tried to sign in your." Because now they tell you like the location yeah, of the person. Yeah, they and do. All. Now they tell you the location. Back then they didn't. No. Hell no. No, you could also. I wonder if I've ever gotten mind. got. No, no, no. Fuck that. Spill the beans. You can also what? Spill the beans. So there's several ways that girls try to find out if their guy is cheating and who they are cheating with. One of the newer ways I just found out was by putting the number in the cash app and seeing who pops up. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> See, uh, you get what, the name? What the fuck? The no comment. No comment. That's what I'm working on now. Like, if I don't have nothing nice to say, I'm just going to not say no comment. I mean, I don't do all of this, what? but I'm saying no, I no, no, no. I have done resist. similar things resist. in the past. Why, why are we doing all of this? Honestly. What? Well, listen, some people have trust issues. Some people are in toxic situations. Some Amen. people's partners are not honest about what they're doing. And I think that's the biggest issue is when so you're in a relationship, it. right? We, we automatically think. You have to be never. monogamous. Oh, okay, okay. We, we don't think, we don't, you don't have to be monogamous, right? But what you do have to be is honest about the fact that whether you're trying to be monogamous or not and give that person a choice. Right. When you don't give that person an option, that's when they, they got to start. They call Lisa. They, they call me. <laughs> they call, they call Inspector Gadget. Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> okay, but Lisa like, on average. Firm. <laughs> <laughs> on average, on average. Like, how many attempts does it take you? Like, how good are you? Are you how this? good are you? <laughs> I'm really good. Do you put this on your resume? <laughs> you. <laughs> listen, listen. The, the girls who know, know. And the girls who don't, don't. But I'm really good. So do y'all have, like, a group chat? Or y'all be no, like... I mean, well, now we are older. All, like, most of my friends are in serious relationships. We right. don't. But, like, uh, so, in the past... So y'all yeah. were doing this to dudes that y'all was just talking to? That's even worse. No, no. no it, it was like y'all niggas. It was like you niggas, yeah, like our niggas. But like now, I'm saying like now that we're older, we're 30, we're all in, not we're all, <laughs> I'm not. But they are, most of my friends are all in serious relationships right. of which they trust their partner. That's amazing. That is wonderful for them. That I love great. that. Snaps. And that each other. I love that. Round of them. applause. Mm -hmm. yeah. Round of applause to black love, man. To black love, okay. But the most toxic thing that's ever happened to me. I don't know if I'm ready to leave that. That yet that you're like I need you to get over it. Like they should have called you for like the election hack from Russia or whoever <laughs> did that shit. Because <laughs> if you can do it, you can reverse that shit. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck don't you do? Honestly, I am a Jane of like all can, trades. Like, can you problem. break into people's passcodes too? Lisa probably a person. Like, what do you do? Honestly, what do you do? Do you like ask? Picture, they, do you like you ask hella questions and then they give you the answers and then you just start to guess the password? I, if I, I want to know, know phone hold on, password, before you go, before you go, I don't even know where to start to guess somebody's password. <laughs> if I want to know a phone password, I would start with their birthday because niggas are basic. Um, any succession of numbers that they use often, like if they're from somewhere like five nine hundred or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> right that. Um, their mother's birthday. Um, in addition, when we're in the vehicle, okay, and they have their phone out, 
Now, I'm either looking <laughs> in, <laughs> no, in the window to see. Oh, when I, I, no, 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 I ain't let you finish that. Yeah. You're not looking at the reflection. No, you're not, bro. No, you need to go get help. Honestly. <laughs> like, you need to go see somebody, bro. That's not normal. What's wrong with this it, This is bro? all in the past. I mean, I've also... So, wait, wait, wait. Seen... Hold on. No, no, no. We're not just... See, you keep just trying to scoot over shit. I have more questions. So I'm going to say other ways that I've found nah. the phone password. No, okay. but let's not leave that. Okay, go. I'm the sorry. Perfection. I don't want to interrupt I was going to say, I've also, like, asked to do something on their phone. And, like, so I could watch... The way they put their code in, and then so it's like top of the screen might be a two. <laughs> two <laughs> exactly. be a five. Mm-hmm. Have you ever cracked a safe? I've never tried. You should. <laughs> I should probably try. But yeah. You ever seen the movie Ocean's Eleven? Of yes. course. They should put you on Ocean's Nine. <laughs> Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen uh? Um, what's that movie called Now You See Me where they like do like magic tricks and shit mm. oh is that with Leonardo DiCaprio I don't know I'm not good at so. actors I think so I don't think so where they like they like no. rob the bank and they're on stage yeah. explaining how they rob the bank and shit okay. they're, they're like seen it? magicians no. it's actually right. pretty good I think Leonardo DiCaprio I don't even know why I brought that up like but back, back to right? so, so are you are you when you meet a dude right Mm-hmm. Are you trying to find out his password for future references, or are you doing it once you once you get like some suspicion? Oh yeah, no, it's not like just immediately, but um, if we start like dealing with each other seriously, and you acting suspicious, so it's a suspicious hmm. thing. So yeah, some people just be acting a little suspicious, or I, I think a lot of times guys tell on themselves mm-hmm. because you're acu- you're accusing me of things that I've never given you a reason to accuse so me of. You do, like the woman. Do mm-hmm. women do women ever think that something is too perfect and then This is why I can't podcast. Go bro. get the uh like they go get the password to keep in the tuck because it's like it's, it's something off. He's just too perfect. Just doing everything right. I, and, I've never experienced that per se. Oh. Or even with any of my friends like something's got to be up. We always think something's afoot. <laughs> Something in the room is not clean. Like from the jump, you y'all lying know. about something. From the jump, a nigga is. That's why I must just be single for the rest of my and fucking life. We bring them around the friends, and then the friends it's like just a group come of y'all, up with like something. a coalition. Y'all all come together and y'all vet the man, and he don't even know he being vetted. Like, oh, did you see the way that nigga held your chair out? He must got a girlfriend. He hold her chair out <laughs> no, or some shit on. like that. No, that's or the type of shit y'all do. Like maybe my friend already like kind of has taken pause about like I don't even know if he really telling the truth about this right then he but come around the friends and then we friend. all then we like you know we chilling we and maybe we have a little together. barbecue whatever the guys there we're having our own separate conversations with him oh yeah so your sister your sister's name is such and such right oh yeah I thought I heard that oh, she has a dog oh okay okay you sure it's your sister <laughs> just like you know <laughs> this is <laughs> fucking crazy bro that's all. I'm glad I've never dated any of your yeah, friends. No. <laughs> Listen, my we have all been reformed. We yeah. are all. I told you, my friends, they really are in great relationships in which they trust their partner. And I love your friends, like most of them, like family. So that would yeah. be weird. But this is crazy to me, though. That this is just. It's PTSD. I know. I can be mad at too. that. I it's guess a I form of it, it's also you know. Common practice. Yeah, but because of what has happened in the past, and again, like I said, when do y'all jump? Like, when do you cross over into this PTSD like realm? Do you go into your first relationship blissful, and then it just happens? Um, is it something that you like prepare yourself for going into your first relationship? Is this like something question. that you teach your child now? Now that you're a woman that is reformed, mm. you teach no. them. No, I. It's for, it's literally from previous experiences. Like okay, yeah, like you said, so you going to your signs, first. You yeah, know. you see certain signs or just a lot of times men are creatures of habit. So, so is this meaning just, like y'all do? Okay, when you say men are creatures of habit, women aren't. We Thank are you, too. Thank you, Joe. No, we are too. But Don't I'm trip, saying I got something for us too. When Keep going. men <laughs> men are creatures of habit, y'all do something out of the ordinary outside of your daily routine. Red flag. <laughs> Wait, so women do shit out of their daily routine on the daily? I'm saying that we don't, too. So, yeah, if your girlfriend is doing something out of her daily routine, red flag. But what if something came up? But most up? of the time, y'all men don't pay enough we attention. We don't even give a fuck. <laughs> y'all don't pay enough attention. I got another question. How often are you wrong? 
Y'all don't talk about that enough. Y'all always talk about the women's intuition and all of this. How often is the women's intuition wrong? And be honest. I it's it's never wrong. Bullshit. You know no, what no, I'm no. telling you? I no, may no, be barking here. up the wrong tree. Who is? Like I would I would say I've never been wrong. I may not have had all the details. See, that's that's bullshit, bro. But I wasn't wrong. Because you know what y'all, why y'all say y'all was never wrong? Don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> because because um, all you're going to do is keep saying he up to something, he up to something, until you find until something, you that, he find up something that he up and to. And then you're going to apply that to that, bro. That's no, literally no, what women's intuition is. No, that's not what it is. Um, it's not. <laughs> so, okay. So, <laughs> if that's literally what it is. Okay, so look. So, if, if I do something out of the ordinary mm-hmm. on Tuesday, mm-hmm. and a red flag goes off. Right, Tuesday, no, uh, what's today? February, whatever. February twenty second or some shit, right? Twenty first. So February twenty first, I do something out of the ordinary. So his red flag goes up. So you huddle with your little fucking team of scavengers, whatever y'all call us. Over now, copy. I'm in the bushes. He's coming out the restaurant. Oh, thirty two. We need to huddle. He, he's alone. The coach Cur- is clear. Code seventy three. Woman down in distress. We need to huddle now. So, so when uh. When so then y'all so again February twenty first I do that and then in June you catch me cheating and you go say I knew, I knew it back in February back on February twenty first like, that's your bullshit, ass was bro <laughs> that's not what, that's literally what y'all define as women's intuition okay that's not the same thing but that does happen because then I'm thinking that that's exactly evidence. but throughout between February and June if you don't think I've Piece some other bullshit together. Look, some that shit that don't even correlate. But the, the shady part the about February that is, shit ain't even gonna matter no more. Because right. I'm focused on what you was doing. No. Uh, yes, but yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, but the fucked up part about that is that's just like because <laughs> I've been watching The Wire, right? I've been watching <laughs> The Wire. But it's like it's shady how. You on my tail by accident. But, bro, <laughs> you by know what accident, I mean? like, bro. You heard something on a wiretap that you wasn't even, you didn't even have probable cause to get the wiretap. I was going to say the wiretap wasn't even supposed to occur. Like, you see what I'm saying? So that don't be fair, bro. That and shit happen all the time. Listen, but that's why I really think, one, it's a lot that goes into dating that we don't learn until we are adults. Mm. Like when you think about it, we be having boyfriends and girlfriends in elementary school and shit like that. We don't even know anything about that, but we are dating. And, and we, should we, take the we was in serious approach. relationships in high school. Right. right. How the fuck like could we have done because that? Because we didn't take the Ray J approach. Well, What's I hit the it first? Approach? Which is love who you want to love, be who you want to be. We got too caught up in trying to like love one person. But that's because we didn't know. Yeah, that's like, what society that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like we didn't know, it and so like we're in these twelve. <laughs> like literally, Man, we're in these serious ass relationships. Like I that had a boyfriend sick. from fourth grade to eighth grade, the same boyfriend. Like Lisa, what? Fourth <laughs> what you, grade. You're a fucking kid. Like oh, yeah, what makes you think? You should have been and fucking I, working it on your fucking toe touch. <laughs> and I still say that like, that was my first boyfriend. No, it wasn't. Right. <laughs> like, right. No, nah, I'm the same way though. I, I look back on that puppy love shit. Like, bro, this was a joke. This bro, was a was joke. Tripping, bro. But we moved into, even after that, like we, we get older and we're still going into these relationships and we still have these fucked up thought processes about what a relationship has to be. And then there's also outside people and everybody oh, else's, yeah. you know, opinions. And, too. Yeah. So I think it, it really takes like becoming an adult and being in a like a seriously committed relationship to where you realize like. There's a lot of compromises that you have to make. There's more than one way to love somebody. There's you can love more than one person. Mm. You can, you know what I'm saying? Like, and those are all things that we have to learn. Because we always changing as people. For sure. Somebody. And that's that's what I for. I agree with that. I think the main problem, and that's kind of what I'm, and I hate, I feel like I say this every fucking show. I'm not dating right now, but the main reason why is because I feel like you have to be in a relationship with yourself first. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You got to learn yourself well enough yep. to where I even know how I want to be. Remember we talked about exactly. last time, like how do I really, I don't even really, like I've been in not many relationships, but I have been in relationships. I have two kids, obviously. And I can admit that both of those situations, I didn't even know how I wanted to be loved. Yeah. I didn't know how to love somebody else. I didn't know none of that. I didn't know how to live with somebody. I went, so it's like for me, I, I kind of bumped my head along the way. And now I'm just glad that I'm self aware enough to kind of be more careful and be okay with just not being I with mean, nobody. Also, exactly. 
a lot of people don't be loved but one way, and that'd be from like their mama and their grandmama. And stuff. But even that could be toxic though, because you a know, lot of a lot sure of our is. family, a, a lot of our trauma, and we didn't even get into to my toxic thing, but we can go. Uh, we got like ten minutes left, so I can get to it. But a lot of our built up trauma is not even from only relationships. It's mm -hmm. family trauma. It's family, family. trauma. It's too. abandonment issues. It's you know, uh, dis like being disappointed in people, getting high, having high hopes. It's so many layers to just traumatic events that we just brush over throughout our life that all when you're living with somebody or when you're in a serious relationship and you're spending a lot of time same thing with best friends they say if you see who your real, your friends your real friends are when you go on trips together mm -hmm. because you're spending so much time together and there's no breaks in between it's like damn i never even noticed how annoying this person you know what i mean yeah and no for real by the time we in relationships realizing that shit we eight months in we, we eight months in we, we probably talk we about moving Instagram together official and all that so now we can't break up because we got an image to uphold which is hella stupid and that's fucked up that shit so but i literally up. just told my friend yesterday because we was talking about her dating somebody new and she had said something about something that she tweeted with his name in it right and somebody asked her about it, and I'm like, well, why you tweet his name? And she was like, why? Because I don't feel like I have to hide anything. And I'm like, you don't have to hide anything. But if you don't want your business to be commented on or, you know, brought back to you. Keep it off the internet. Keep it off keep the internet. Shit off the like, internet. putting shit on the internet leaves you it's open to other people's to opinions. Commentate. Commentate. I'm so glad. Can we talk about the close friends thing? After this, I want to. Mm -hmm. I, I want. I got. I want to know y'all opinion about something with this close friend shit. For sure. But let's yeah. let's just park a lot that and, and and keep going. But yeah, that that that's real shit though. And I don't think. I just feel like, bro, when it comes to like, I can call. I got people around me that I can call and say, bro, this is a situation. Am I cat and yes or no? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people just got people in their corner that's gonna perpetuate their actions. And that's the bad. And that's the and toxic that's the shit that go, that keep going on and on and on. It's like, bro, I'm growing. It's like you ain't growing, bro. You just finding and you know new what people to agree more with you. Mad at, <laughs> you know, you know what makes me more mad at those people is what what I'm when I'm explaining. Like, like, like. Let's say, let's take one of my friends, for instance, right? Let's say if, if a girl I'm messing with comes to one of my friends and says, "Man, Justin, this, 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 and this, and this," and then he he kind of you know played down plays or whatever, and then he don't really mention it to me. He just go and that's it's cool, you know, stay, mind your business. But half the time it's like, bro, this person is doing you the same way as a friend, mm -hmm. so you know what I mean. <clears throat> but you're just so oblivious and you don't want to really. Call you don't it say out, nothing on it. yeah. For whatever reason, it's like, bro, what you know what I go through. Because you go through it to an extent. So you can only imagine what I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? Yeah. At a, at a full-time clip. So that's what makes me mad at friends. I, and and it, it, I'm glad that it just makes... I'm so careful with who I call friends now and who I, who I you know, converse with on a regular and all those things just because of that reason. Like, I need people that's going to hold me accountable when I'm catting and, I, and, I, and, and be welcoming for me to do the same. It, exactly. That's my thing. It's like, if you... I don't think you my friend if you can't tell me when I'm on bullshit because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten I'm on bullshit. Mm -hmm. So I need close people around me to be like, hey, you're catting off right, right now. And it's like, you're right. Okay. <laughs> nah, yeah. If yeah. I don't, like, them little phone calls from Lisa, like, where the hell you been? What the fuck you been up right. to? Like, that? I be needing them because shit, I'll disappear and stop doing shit just all the way around. Just start. No, it's, that's life. real, man. <laughs> doing nothing. Let me think. What's what's something? What's the most toxic thing I've done? Um, it's. I don't think I've ever done anything too. I don't know, man. I gotta think about that. Y'all wanna know some of the toxic that happened to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got f like five minutes, so. Oh, uh, it'd be quick. So my freshman year in college or whatever, you know, I was in New Orleans, wasn't really dating anybody on my campus, but like I love hood niggas, so obviously I'm in hood with the niggas. So I met Some this things never change. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I, met, I met this guy or whatever, and he was like just very, I don't know, he was cool, but I wasn't used to the way that they are out there, so he was super, super persistent, and he wanted to see me all the time, and I didn't want to see him all the time. So I lied and told him I had homework one night, right? Lied and told him I had homework. He's like, well, he's texting me like, I'm in the stairs of your dorm. Mind you, there's a gate at the front that you have to go through, you have to have an ID. How'd you get in? There's a, a, a thing to get a fob to get in the door. How the fuck are you in my stairs right now? 
how are you upstairs? And I wasn't there because I was lying. I was at the Pelicans game. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in those bleeds. Sitting in the oh, You oh, told that story God. before too on here, I think. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I now. remember you told that story on here. Like, but was yeah. that when you was on here last time she told that story? Nah, it was the time before I came here. Yeah, you told that story before, though. But yeah. go ahead. So then what happened after that? So then it was just like this whole thing, right? Like this big blowout as if we were actually, to, we had probably just met, right? But after that, I couldn't get rid of him. He still to this day calls me. Really? Yeah. Lisa has the he best told of me. Luck. Oh my God! He told me like, yeah. She showed how to pick him. I was. <laughs> <laughs> or they or let he her pick this. He recently told me he was going to pick her. He wanted me. To, he wanted to marry me. Like when, mind you, whatever. He wanted to marry me then, but he was like, I always thought that you would have a baby and move back to California, and I wouldn't be able to see my kid. <laughs> like, I wish, I knew sir. This if you thought I was having a baby, you lost it. <laughs> Before I was gonna go back to California and go oh. to the clinic, <laughs> you thought you thought Lisa was gonna have a baby. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, but yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Now nah, I was always the misconceptions people had at least. I'm like, oh, it's just. Yeah, they get this. Like, That's why I'm glad we do this like, show now because they get to see like, how nice fucking crazy she really like, is, bro. Like, they really get to see her fool shit. Like, 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 no, Jojo, remember when the Domino's man stole my number and they cussed me Bruh. out? <laughs> he stole my number off the receipt, off right? The he stole my number off the receipt. In New Orleans? In yes. New Orleans. <laughs> and then he came, I think he came to smoke yeah, with us or something came one back time. To smoke with us one time, man. And it was like, like we was just like, whatever. <laughs> So then after that, he kept calling me and I wasn't answering the phone. And he cussed me out on my voicemail like, B, you think you all that, blah, blah, blah. Like, and then I guess he realized, like, oh, wait, she knows where I work. She can get me fired. <laughs> so Did he apologize? He came back and apologized. <laughs> he came back and apologized. Oh, wow, that's sick. <laughs> I can't think of nothing right now, man. Hey, man, listen. New Orleans is... New Orleans is fine. New Orleans is crazy. I can tell you something that's toxic, but it ain't in a relationship. What's that? I used to get... <laughs> I used to get drunk and go around Lisa... But, like, every time I used to get drunk around Lisa, she couldn't get drunk because she would have to watch me. Look at my face. Look how irritated I look. Just him even mentioning it. I couldn't even picture you drunk. Well, we used to go out. She's like, Jenna, are you drunk? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, hell no, I ain't drunk. Immediately, I have to stop drinking. She's like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> This, this nigga's guy. gonna start a, a gang fight on <laughs> bourbon. Like, I, immediately I have to stop drinking. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's sick. Fuck. Because it was every single time, like, she already knew, like, this nigga's drunk. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's hella funny. Well, yeah, I can't think of nothing, man. I, I, I'm going I'm to come with something in the later topics. It'll hit me. I guess we'll go with the narrative that you aren't. No, I've done some wild shit. Don't get me wrong. I was feeling I, that's say. I just don't know where where to like where to, where begin? to start. <laughs> Not that because I haven't done that much wild shit. Like, I, I, but I've done some sick shit for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll think of something to 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 say in the, in a later topic though. All right, so the moral of the story is... <laughs> they toxic as fuck, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is men. Per get better passwords. No, you need to be arrested. The fuck, <laughs> nigga. Crime stoppers, nigga. The police. Fuck? What are you talking about? Are you kidding one. me? Police. You <laughs> have a wait, no. Listen, not, also you're not gonna women, blame the men. Women, here's another trick. Police. He's on his phone Cut. behind you. He's on his phone behind you. Open your open your camera and record. You zoom and when you're done. The zoom. No, we ain't zoom. doing that. Oh <laughs> my god. Bye, y'all. We'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>